Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video I am going to be talking about how the narcissist feels once you have moved on. Once you have rebuilt your self-worth, self-esteem, self-assurance, self-belief and self-respect. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to make a donation, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, please contact me at narcsvivorcoaching at gmail.com. How does the narcissist feel once you've moved on? How does the narcissist feel once you are no longer confused about what you were dealing with, once you no longer desire to be around them? How do they feel once you have rebuilt your qualities, talents and positive traits? How do they feel once you have developed a successful career or met someone who gives you the love and care that they always talked about but never followed up with action? I'm talking about your personal development. What is probably what you were looking to accomplish even before you met the narcissist? You already desire to build your qualities, talents and positive traits. You already desire to build a successful career or meet an ideal relationship partner. When you met the narcissist, this is when those qualities, talents and positive traits began to depreciate. Everything good about you began to strip away. The reason for this is because narcissists feed off your energy and capabilities. They take away all of the good things about you to, to sustain them. And the crazy part is, even though they were the ones who depreciated you, and stripped away all of your qualities, talents and positive traits. They will target you, devalue, degrade, publicly humiliate and exploit you for the, the very effect that they are the root cause of. They are emotionally immature. They do not self-reflect or look within. They do not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. So in their minds, it's your fault for not being up to the standard that they expect from you. Remember, they have a sense of entitlement and arrogance. Also, nothing can satisfy or fulfill them anyway. They are like buckets with a leak. Anything you put into them will just leak out. Nothing could ever sustain them. So even though they have damaged or destroyed all of your qualities, talents and positive traits, depleted you of your positive energy, they will devalue, degrade, publicly humiliate and exploit you for the very thing that they have caused. Now that they have used up all of your resources, everything that you had to offer, you are seen as trash. Imagine if you are eating something, you eat it, you use it all up, and all that's left is the plastic packaging. You don't need it, it's trash. You've ate the food, used it up to replenish yourself. That's how the narcissist sees you at this point. They have used up everything that you had to offer. 
used all of your qualities, talents and positive traits, your positive energy. And at this point, all that's left is the empty packaging. They don't need you anymore. This is when they will discard the empty packaging. They will discard you. After they have used up all of your resources and taken your energy, you would assume that they have something to offer you in return. They have something to give back. This is when the narcissist disappears and idealizes someone else who has fresh resources and, en and energy. So they can do the same thing all over again. They do not appreciate anything that you gave them. They do not appreciate anything that you have done for them. They are ungrateful and have taken you for granted. The very things that they were so desperately seeking from you are the very things that they never give back. Your attention, validation, approval and admiration. They never attend to you. They never validate or approve of you. They never admire you. They never replenish your energy. The reason for this is because they can't, even if they wanted to. You can't really provide those things until your own cup is full. And the problem with the narcissist is no matter how much you pour into them, it's never enough. It never sustains them. They cannot experience satisfaction or fulfillment. That's why they are stuck in this endless chase, going from one thing to the next, trying to get whatever they can out of the situation. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy because their cup can never be full. So they are basically stuck in an endless cycle where they run from one individual to the next, trying to obtain whatever energy, whatever attention, validation, approval and admiration they can get in that moment. And once that person is used up and has nothing left to give, they are on to the next person. If there was a perfect human being, they wouldn't be able to satisfy or fulfill these narcissists. No matter what you give, or how much you give, it will never sustain them. You can try, but you will be destroyed in the process. And this is likely what you have experienced. The narcissist almost des destroyed you. You are no longer able to provide them with the same standard they were accustomed to in the beginning. This is when the narcissist will leave you at the lowest point in your life. Sometimes even suicidal or dead. In many situations, you are left with nothing. You have been stripped away of all of your qualities, talents and positive traits. Your positive vibe or energy has been completely depleted. They may have targeted you financially, your job, family members and friends. Many victims of narcissistic abuse lose everything. Some even end up homeless, in a mental hospital, prison or even dead. But if you have managed to survive this abuse and avoided being stuck in a mental hospital or in prison, you now have the opportunity to rebuild your life. You are able to motivate yourself from within. You can start achieving and obtaining all over again. You can start smiling and experiencing happiness.
This soon becomes a problem for the narcissist. It confirms that they are not the people they said they were. They are not the grandiose people that they made themselves out to be. Once you have moved on and done better without them, it becomes undeniable of who was really about anything. They gave you all of the talk, they told you what you wanted to hear, they displayed delusions to you, all the while making you believe that you weren't about any of that, you weren't good enough, or something was wrong with you. But then you leave and do better without them? They mirrored you, appealed to your own ideals. You thought they were really about that, but then time revealed that they basically weren't about shit. Remember all of those things they told you would develop in time? All of those plans or dreams for, for the future? What happened to all of that? And that's when you realise that this individual wasn't about shit. They were good at manipulating you, but they didn't even have the capabilities to manifest what you want. They played this game with you to secure you as a source of supply, making you believe that they had what you want. They had the capabilities to manifest everything you desired. Maybe in their little fantasies in their mind they did. But none of that ever actualizes with them because they don't even have the belief. They don't even believe in themselves. So the best you will ever get from them is an illusion. But then you leave them and move on and start doing better without them. You start doing all of the things they talked about on your own. After they had devalued, degraded, publicly humiliated and exploited you. As though you were nothing, worthless and insignificant. Once you have moved on, it really becomes undeniable that all of this was just projection and they are the ones who ain't about shit. All that time that they were around you, feeding off your energy, and you were struggling to find happiness, struggling to find satisfaction or fulfillment in your life. And then you move on, and all of this comes together. It really proves to everyone that you are not the problem in that situation. It really becomes undeniable at that point. All of those devaluing comments and backhanded compliments they said about you. It really was just a projection. All along they tried to make you believe that you were not good enough for them. Or something was wrong with you. They tried to get you to believe that you're not about anything. Then they, they would tell you things or create illusions to display a, a false sense of superiority over you. But once you've moved on and you see through those illusions, you can see that nothing ever actualized with them. They weren't about anything. And yet you have moved on and manifested everything that you always talked about. It becomes undeniable proof that they are the ones that are not good enough. They are the ones that aren't about anything. And that's why nothing great ever manifested while you were around them. When you move on and start to achieve success and happiness, it confirms that they were holding you back, preventing you from achieving your true potential. They were weighing you down.
This causes a huge narcissistic injury, which can often ripple to all of the narcissists around them too, because they had to criticize or devalue you to make themselves feel better. Because they were insecure and felt envious and jealous towards you. They had to make you believe as though you were not good enough for them or something was not right with you. But then you move on and do better without them. So it proves that they are the ones that were not good enough for you. It destroys the false narrative that they had created in their minds about them being these amazing people and all of their coping and defense mechanisms which they heavily depend on to regulate their feelings of envy and jealousy. They had this defense mechanism of acting as though they are so great and you are nothing. So the more that they have to watch you progress and become successful in every aspect of your life, it really gets to them. If you can move on and be happier and more successful without them, it really confirms who was the problem in that situation. Once you have done this, they get really mad. They get really envious and jealous. They are forced to accept that all along, they were the defective ones. They were not good enough for you. And the story that they made up in their minds really was just a defense mechanism. Although they will be hateful, angry, envious and jealous, they might still try to hoover you. But this isn't to try and make things right. They will only come back to make you believe that you're not doing good, good without them. You're not happy without them. And if you entertain this belief, the cycle will, will repeat itself. They will have an opportunity to destroy everything that you have built since leaving them. So please keep this in mind. Remember all these narcissists do is destroy. They use up everything you have to offer and then leave you with nothing. They will come back just to try and prove to you that you are not happy or what you are doing is not that great. They don't really believe that, it's just a defense mechanism and their way of dealing with their intense feelings of envy and jealousy. So to conclude this video, how does the narcissist feel once you've moved on? They feel inferior, they feel worthless and insignificant, they feel hatred anger, envy and jealousy towards you and anything that you, you have achieved or obtained. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Talk to you soon.